Hello, it's Patrick here from the GarageBandGuide.com. While not as fully featured as the version available in GarageBand for Mac's big brother, Logic Pro 10, the stripped down Alchemy synth that we have access to does sound fantastic and has one hidden feature in particular that you might not be aware of. As I mentioned in the intro, the version of Alchemy we have in GarageBand lacks a lot of the customization options found in the full version present in Logic Pro 10. In fact, it more closely resembles the version of Alchemy that you'll find in GarageBand for iOS, with a similar interface and controls. You can't access Alchemy directly in GarageBand for Mac, instead you need to load up a patch, or preset if you like, from GarageBand's library pane on a software instrument track. You'll know you've landed on an Alchemy patch when you see the transform pad in your track's smart control window. Using the tabs at the top of the smart controls window, you can cycle through the transform, control and EQ windows which all allow you to shape your synth's sounds. What we're interested in though is this small icon in the top right corner of the Alchemy Instruments window. Clicking this icon opens the arpeggiator menu and you'll notice that you have a ton of options to customise your arpeggiated sounds here. The note order menu allows you to adjust how the arpeggiated notes will be played. The rate menu lets you select from 22 different timing options for your arpeggiated instrument. And the octave range allows you to choose whether the notes you're playing will hit one, two, three or four octaves during the arpeggiator run. Below that, you can choose from several dozen presets that will change the sound of your arpeggiated software instrument dramatically.
while putting this video together, I did realise that the arpeggiator feature is now available on most, though not all, of GarageBand's software instruments, not only those that use the Alchemy synth. So you've got even more scope to use this thing to shape different instrument sounds. So there you have it. That's how you can use one of GarageBand for Mac's less well-known features to take your software instrument sounds to the next level. If you're just getting started with GarageBand on Mac or just want a refresh on the basics, you can grab my quick start guide absolutely free. I'll put a link to that down in the description below. I've been Patrick from thegaragebandguide.com and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.